Jimstream came about um, for a number of different reasons, really. I saw a film called The Five Obstructions by Lars von Trier, in which he challenges his favourite director to remake the same film five times with a different set of restrictions each time from which to work within. And he comes up with five different films as a consequence, each of which are brilliant in their own way and are a brilliant retelling of the same story from within those restrictions. I've been talking for years about actually getting out and, and, and making films, and I've never done it because I always thought, well, you know, if only I had the money, if only I had the gear, if only I had the time and the people to help me. So watching Lars von Trier's Five Obstructions really made me think that I should just get out and make the film that I can make with whatever I've got. And at the time, all I had was uh, a, a small compact digital camera and some sound gear. At the same sort of time as that, I was thinking a lot about short films and a lot about dreams and how they mirror each other, how they uh, often sort of, they don't tell a whole story. They, they, they just show you a little glimpse of a world and often that world is very strange, very bizarre, very odd and, and sometimes very uneasy. So in thinking about dreams and short films, I started writing a script or two that related the two things together. And I also started thinking about my own dreams and how they might come out on film, and also talking to other people about theirs. And one of the people I spoke to was a good friend of mine, Jim Crawford, who had a, a, an amazing array of strange, bizarre dreams. And one of them, he sort of, he sort of introduced by saying, oh, I've got a great dream, but you'll never be able to film it. And he basically told me this story straight away. I thought it was fantastic. And it was almost a challenge that he said, you'll never be able to film it. So I immediately um, set about doing it. And uh, as I said, my own restrictions were that I didn't even have a video camera or a film camera. So I had to use whatever I did have. And that was uh, basically a digital stills camera. So I uh, recorded him. First of all, I recorded him telling me the dream again and cut that together into a usable nar narrative about five minutes long and um, started storyboarding and planning what pictures I thought would best illustrate that narrative that he'd given me. I then recorded the music and slowly over the course of uh, uh, six months or so all these different bits came together and we did a couple of photo shoots in Somerset and in Devon and, um, and yeah, the result was Jim's dream.